Be right there. Lucy. Coming. Oh, your father and I were lucky. He had his eye on one of those new tractomes, sprouting like mushrooms everywhere he looked, replacing all the lemon orchards. I hated the idea of those cookie cutter houses. We couldn't afford much. We found this lot near the coast. I had the worst time convincing your father to build a house instead of one that was ready made. But Dad grew to love it here. Well, he did. Though all those months, we lived in the middle of a construction site. We had an outdoor kitchen. Mind you, not like the lovely grill and sink you've had installed. Oh, it's lovely what you and Stan have done. Oh. It's not the outdoor kitchen we had in our day. A bucket and hose, more like. You must get tired of me telling you these old stories. I love your stories, Mom. <laughs> I never get tired of them. Well, of course, your father got his way with everything else. He liked that hard, square, cold furniture, modern. You've always hated it. I don't like to sit on it. It's never been comfortable. But you wouldn't let me change a thing. We've had the same furniture for 50 years. You could probably get by with changing some of it now. There's no use. I, uh, there's no good furniture stores. You always say that. <laughs> well, you bought me that recliner. I use that. Besides, why am I going on about that? Today is your birthday. Happy birthday, Lucy. Go on, tell me about when I was born. Oh, I planned it. I know the exact moment I got pregnant with you. Oh, Mom. I made sure I had a little wine and I didn't tell him I'd stop taking the pill. I can't believe you did that. He really didn't know. Heavens no. Huh. Oh, but he was so delighted with you. You were the apple of his eye. Besides, what good was all that screwing around if I wasn't going to have a child? Mother. Well, I knew I wanted to. I was ready. Mom, you were 35 when you had me. Yes. Well, today is my 35th birthday. I know. <laughs> It's hard to believe. I'm still waiting for that feeling. What feeling? The feeling would all know for sure that I want to have a child. What if it never happens? Well, honey, then you and Stan will have a wonderful life, doing all the things that make you happy. No one said you had to have children to be happy in life. Your career's always been important to you. I know. And it is important. There are not enough people to defend the few wild and natural places that are left. Places like this. Besides, we have a few years yet, I guess. I feel like the only reason I'd want to have a child is so I could teach him or her all the things that you taught me. <laughs> You'd be teaching them what your grandmother taught me. I know. <laughs> you know, when they brought you to me after you were born, your hands were crossed like this. <laughs> Perfect little lady hands with lovely long fingernails. So elegant. You were such a beautiful baby. Thanks, Mom.
Just look at that. So beautiful. I've been coming here nearly every day for 50 years. This is your favorite place. It is. Shall I make your lemon bars tonight? We have plenty of lemons. <laughs> of course, you better. It's the best thing about having my birthday this time of year is all the lemons. Not that you couldn't buy lemons, obviously, but they wouldn't be the same, not like backyard lemons. No, indeed. What would you like for dinner? You could pick the cherry tomatoes. What is it, honey? I wish you could have met her. She reminds me of you so much. I wish she could have known you. I thought I'd find you out here. Hi, honey. Come here, you. I made lemon bars for your birthday. <gasps> oh my gosh, Sophie. This is so good. This might be the best lemon bar I've ever tasted. Your grandmother would have loved these. What's the matter, Mommy? Nothing. This was her favorite place. Yes, it was. I wish I could have known her. I wish that too, honey. What would you like for dinner? You could pick the cherry tomatoes. Yum! I love cherry tomatoes! Come on, Mom! Dad has your present! 